Welcome back to John's Music. We are super duper excited to bring another very cool guitar to showcase today. This is just arrived in India and come into our catalog. Today we are have a guitar which I am going to lift from my pinky finger. And there it is. This is the Donner Hush Eye acoustic guitar. So I know you are very excited to check this out. So let's do it. So this is how the package arrives, very compact if you see. We are going to do an unboxing this time because there are certain things that we can showcase and after that we are going to do an assembly as well. Let's get it started. So Donner is a brand that has just uh, arrived in India. They have acoustic guitars, they have pianos, they have uh, keyboards, they have guitars like this, uh, they have seats available, they have drum thrones available. So they have a catalog which is very wide, uh, ve known very much for producing a wide range of music instruments. This however really caught our eye because it is too cool to travel with. Now if you are planning on buying this guitar, let me show you how much is the actual bag over here. That is it. This is the bag that you are travelling with. This guitar is particularly meant for travel, for silent practice. This is even performance ready because this has to be connected to a speaker. So that's about it. It's got a handle over here, a front pocket. This is for your back straps. We're going to show you what's inside the box first. We get a strap. This can be used on the guitar like this. So there's holes for strap nut. At the same time, very thoughtful actually that you can use this to carry the guitar as well. So it's a multi-use strap. Simply you have to hook on one over here and one on whichever side you would like. That's it. This becomes your carrying strap. And at the same time, this becomes your performance strap where you can hang your guitar as well. So that is the strap. We also get a tuner by the brand Donner. You get a cleaning cloth along with this. Now this guitar has a headphone out so they have given a headphone as well. Now one very impressive thing about this headphone is that this is like an in-ear headphone. If you are not aware about what is the in-ear headphone, it looks something like this. This is to cover your entire ear cavity so that you can cancel out unwanted sound and get the good quality sound of your guitar really good headphones as well they have given extra rubber foams and a clip uh, this carrying case is also good this is this earphone is multi-usable you can use it on your phone you want to listen to some music even that's possible so basically you're getting an extra pair of headphones this is another pouch where you get one of the attachments as well as the accessories needed to assemble this guitar we'll get this into it right away along with this we get the catalog which is also digitally available. So that was the things that you get right in the box. The case is also good. We'll keep your guitar protected. This is a very nice PVC handle, very hard. So let's get at how to assemble your guitar before playing. This is how the case looks from inside. There's some nice patches over here. It's got a locking neck. So the guitar is this much. Now if you really think of the size, this is the case and the whole size of the guitar and this is a badminton racket. So this is how similar the size is. So you are carrying as small as a badminton racket. In fact, if you compare just the guitar, that's it. So a very compact size guitar, we meant for silent practice, meant for travel meant for performance and a lot more. The guitar sounds excellent. Now if you're wondering whether this is an electric guitar, no, this is an acoustic guitar. We tried playing this with some distortion patches. It doesn't sound uh, like an electric guitar. It sounds like a pure acoustic guitar. So 
before we get into the specifications, let's assemble the guitar. So this is the part that sits on your thigh. We have to simply insert this, match the hole and the Allen key is provided along with it. So they have given some nuts, they have given two extra nuts as well and there are some guitar picks in here as well. All you have to do is put in the nut. If you don't have to carry this Allen key separately as well, they have added the Allen key right here to remove and do this job. So we are just tightening the Allen key here. So that's it, nice and secured. Now the second attachment is very discreetly kept inside the bag. It's right here. So this is like a shape of the guitar. This will go in here and we have to take the second screw and there is this is the place where you can add the second one so i think that's it this is the whole attachment time that it takes it's just two screws uh, and uh, that's about it your guitar is ready to be performed so its assembly is not at all a hassle it's just two screws to be done now you have a guitar that you can sit and play you can even stand and play by using the straps this becomes your hand rest and this becomes the rest as simple as that now getting into the specifications this is a mahogany body guitar a neck through guitar neck through guitar means this neck continues throughout the body that's a kind of a construction and this is entirely mahogany speaking about the fretboard this is hpl HPL stands for high pressure laminate. A lot of leading brands are also using this now in, on their guitars. We have very good quality bone, nut and saddle that is usually found on acoustic guitars. In fact, this is really good quality. I can see the quality and tell you that this is going to last a very long time. There is this simple thing over here. I believe it is meant to hang your guitar because this guitar cannot be kept on a stand. This, has, this is supposed to be hung in case. I would suggest not to hang the guitar. I would suggest to keep it, keep any guitar in the case. Uh, then the case, guitar does not really collect any much dust uh, and has the strings don't rust that often. The frets are very nicely polished. There is no corrosion or there's no sound, bad sound coming. Fret inlays are very much clear over here with the 12th fret very pronounced. We have, we have a strap nut over here. And this output jack multiplies as a strap nut, second strap nut. Over here, we have a battery box which uses a 9 volt battery. I will suggest something like Duracell so that it lasts for a long time. And here we have custom tuning keys. Now, this is something that I haven't seen on any other guitar. You can use your fingers to tune initially, but to tighten it, you will need an Allen key that is very nicely kept inside the body. You can just put in your Allen key over here and do the fine tuning the gears also look very nice it's not looking at all of a cheap quality i believe they have designed this particularly for this guitar in case you're wondering whether this guitar has a truss rod yes it does there is a simple cap that you can move and it's a two-way truss rod that you can adjust from inside now you must be wondering how the strings are mounted on this it's a very fair question this is where the string goes in you wind the strings here and you tune up the guitar over here. So it's just the reverse way around. There is nothing different. The string starts over here. Coming to the controls, there's nothing much to talk about. It's very simple and nice. We have a volume button. We have lows and highs. We have a phase button in case there is some phase cancellation issues. Other than that, we have headphone output as well as a speaker output 3.5. Here is your main instrument out for performances to in amplifiers or any kind of speakers. So that's about the specifications of the guitar. This guitar is hardly 2 kilos. To be precise, it is 1.75 kilos, making it one of the most lightest guitars we have ever found. Now, in case you're wondering how does this guitar sound, let's check it out.
So that was the sound demo of the Donner Hush I headless guitar, silent guitar, travel guitar and even a cool looking guitar. We have no, not really found many alternates of this. In fact, the only alternate we have found this uh, is in Yamaha. It is called silent guitar. However, there is a big difference. One, the silent guitar is about 55,000 to 60,000 MRP, while this guitar is just at an MRP of 28,000 rupees as of 2023. The prices may change ahead. The link is in the description to buy this guitar. So please refer the link for the updated pricing. So when we are talking about the price point, this is literally half the price and offers almost all the conveniences of the silent guitar. The only major difference between the Yamaha silent guitar and the Donner silent guitar is that this part is of made of wood in the silent guitar. Plus you will get FX on board on the Yamaha silent guitar. On this you have just simple controls of volume, lows and highs that is usually the standard controls found on an acoustic guitar. We were very surprised of how this guitar sounded when plugged in. It sounds very crisp, very clean, very performance ready. In fact, the melody that we recorded sounded almost post-produced. There is no effects used on the audio that you're listening to. Coming to the possible disadvantages of this guitar, this guitar will not have any sound if you do not have a earphone or a speaker so you need to have them i mean the purpose of silent guitar is that second disadvantage is this is not a very comfortable rod to have but i believe if you stand and play this is not at all going to be a problem this does not have any discomfort whatsoever however if you are a person who wants to rest your hand on this and play it may hurt in the long run the third disadvantage is only if you do not cut the strings correctly and you might hurt your hand with the sharp edges of the string. That is the possible disadvantage only if you do not cut the strings right. Another possible disadvantage is that if you are performing on stage and if you carry a guitar stand to keep the guitar, that may not be possible. You have to keep this guitar flat on the stage if you are planning to keep the guitar away for a while. However, all the disadvantages that we have mentioned cancels out the amazing advantages that this guitar offers. We haven't found any guitar so travel friendly, so compact, yet delivering amazing sound output. Usually when we have seen very small travel guitars, even the acoustic sound does get compromised, but the pickup sound of this guitar was very, very good. We really didn't find any issues that we can foresee with the sound of this guitar. In fact, if you add any kind of a reverb or a delay to this sound, it is going to sound fantastic. So who is this guitar for? It is for people who are looking for compact guitars to travel with, to perform. It's also for people who are look, looking for cool looking guitars, almost like a machine gun. So the, aspect, the cool looking aspects as well as the good sound is definitely giving this guitar a very good rank in our recommended list. Other than that, for continuous home use, or for junior players, this is not a recommended guitar because they have to be used to the acoustic sound uh, of the guitar so that they understand what the instrument sounds like. This is more for people who have been playing for a long time and who are professionals as well. In case you don't want to break your bank by investing in a very expensive silent guitar, this right here is an amazing choice. So final verdict is, yes, this is a very good choice to have if you are traveling. And if you're always looking for compact guitars to travel with, and in case you are a performer who has been traveling constantly during performances, this guitar is going to give you a big relief on your back. You would not have to carry such weight anymore. So that was a review of the Donner Hush Eye. If you have any doubts or queries, feel free to reach us out on our call and WhatsApp support. We are here to help you guys out. Thank you again for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product reviews. See you next time with some more videos. Until then, bye-bye.